thanks again for coming to the experience. Um, I had cherries left in the freezer for the cherry tree. Showing uh, the uh, view uh, arts uh, summer slump. Um, made this series um, in uh, 2008. Um, the woman in, in the image is uh, a woman I've been working for for several years now, um, and uh, made the series as sort of. Uh, celebration of our relationship. Um, yeah, I created the panels that uh, I did all the work on, uh, found materials. Uh, my studio is in downtown, um, downtown east side in Vancouver. And um, so all the materials that I made, the uh, pieces from were found materials. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted them to have a sort of uh, distressed look. I was very inspired by a lot of the signage that I was seeing in Chinatown. Um, uh, ever since I was a uh, child, I've always been uh, inspired by uh, pop artists from the 60s. Um, as, a, as I grew, uh, so started drawing a lot of inspiration from um, Do It Yourself, yeah. artists from the uh, late 70s, uh, early 80s, uh, kind of came out of New York's punk scene. Um, a lot of photocopy art, uh, instant art, you know. Um, and uh, I, uh, I work uh, for this woman, uh, her name is Two. Um, creating abstract paintings for uh, her, her properties, and um, so when I had some time off, I created this work and, and, and some of my other work. It was sort of a, you know, a chance to have a bit of a reprieve from the kinds of like abstract paintings I was doing. Something that I could do that was a little bit um, sort of closer to my original influences as an artist. Um, and the work was also a lot, uh, a lot more uh, edgy. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was just sort of a nice break from the work that I, uh, the work that I commissioned to do.